Scorpio, welcome to your love connection reading for the first half of August. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. And if you're new, please do check the description box below. Any and all information, there's a ton of information down there for you. Links and readings and everything you need to know. So please do go check that out, would be greatly appreciated. So before we get started, Scorpio, I'd just like to give a quick shout out to all my new subscribers. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Those who have reached out for personal reading, thank you so much. And those who have blessed me with an energy exchange, as in a tip or donation to the channel, is very much appreciated. So thank you so much for all your support. It really means a lot to me. And I do this for you guys. I truly love to do what I do and to give you the messages I get. So thank you, thank you so much okay for scorpio hope everybody's doing well can we believe we're in august where is time going be christmas before you know it <laughs> all right for scorpio 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 love connection reading first half of august all the decks are listed below if you are interested in that and they all have been pre-shuffle cut meditated on off camera i do that off to save time but there is a little more shuffling on camera, so please be patient with that. So this is a zodiac oracle, so we can get a planet sign or element, and we'll see how that um, affects your reading. And if you're not dealing with whatever comes out here or it doesn't resonate for you, that is totally fine. This is sort of like a little extra bonus, and the rest of the reading may resonate for you. So I think you would know that by the title. So let's see, let's see what may some Scorpios be dealing with. The first half of August. Can we have one card, Spirit, please? It's too many. One card for Scorpio. The first half of August. Wow. What may some Scorpios be dealing with in love? The first half of August. Spirit, please. Thank you so much. Just one card, and I think I'm going to take that one. Let's see what we have. The moon. Ooh, that's Cancer of Pisces. Some of you could be dealing with Cancer or Pisces, and the moon is all about cycles and changes and um, feminine energy, and it's also about feelings and emotions and intuition. And you have one in five, one in four is five, so something could be changing in your uh, connection. And the moon in tarot can also represent secrets, illusions, not seeing things clearly, um, not being sure of things. Secrets may be coming to light. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how that plays into your reading. All right. And who got... Somebody got the moon. Oh, I think it was Sagittarius that got the moon also in the same position. Okay. So, let's see. Or maybe uh, Cancer or Pisces is your moon sign. Or maybe the person you're dealing with, maybe Cancer or Pisces is their moon sign. All right. So let's get an overall love energy for you for the first half of August. This love connection reading for Scorpio spirit, please. What is the love energy like for Scorpio? And this love connection, first half of August spirit, please. One card. There we go. True love. Wow. All right. True love. This is the romance of a lifetime. So... And change could be you could meet a true love. You could maybe you're already connected to somebody and it turns into true love or you could meet somebody or maybe you already know somebody and that connection starts to happen. There could be a change in a friendship or um, something like that that turns into true love. Wow. Okay. So let's get one card, Scorpio, for you. How are you feeling in this connection? This can be for any kind of connection and for anyone you have in mind. And we'll see how this resonates for you. All right. Any kind of connection and for anyone you have in mind at this time. And the energy is saying it's true love. The true love can be there. Romance of a lifetime. All right. So for you, Scorpio, we have healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So um, and with the feminine energy there, maybe you had uh, family issues with your mother or grandmother or sisters or something like that and uh, maybe it affects your relationships and you don't really realize that or maybe you're just coming to terms with realizing how maybe some relation feminine relationships for you and your family 
affected you in your love life in some way or you're healing from uh, your own family issues if you're just coming out of a relationship or maybe uh, this is a relationship you're already in and maybe there's something here that happened that needs healing I don't know we'll see we'll see so how is your person feeling how is your person feeling about you in this connection Scorpio there you go unrequited love oh there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going okay so it could be you're going through a massive change right now Scorpio maybe you're coming out of something maybe you know you're divorcing or you're splitting up from a long-term commitment and you're trying to heal from that as you go through a change here in a cycle and maybe your person here is feeling this true love towards you but you're not uh, requiting their love right now so they're feeling like it's unrequited love because you're going through this change and metamorphosis and they have no idea uh, how you feel about them so they're feeling like it's unrequited right now so that may be a message for some so let's see what the bottom of the deck energy is like give your relationship a chance work on your partnership so so this could be for you, Scorpio. Maybe you gave your relationship a chance with whatever you're coming out of over and over and over, and maybe it just didn't work, and now you need to change, go through a cycle, move on, heal from that. And your person's like, hey, why don't you give us a chance, you know? Because this is true love. This is a rom romance of a lifetime. And the energy here is also saying it's true love, and the angels want you to know to give it a chance wow Scorpio all right so let's get some clarification now with the tarot you Scorpio you Scorpio I'm just curious what's under here calling in your soulmate okay I just got soulmate soulmate in my head and there it is calling in your soulmate your prayers, affirmations, vis visualizations help bring you together. So either they're trying to call you in uh, as you are healing and going through something, and maybe that's why you're not communicating with them or you're not being, um, not reciprocating towards them. Whoops, see, and my heart just fell over. So I feel like, uh, okay, so I feel like, you know, they're trying to call you in, I feel like it, because they know it's true love. They know you're a soulmate. They feel that energy. But you're, I feel like you're just kind of off on your own. Maybe you do have children, and you're trying to move on here. It's too many. Okay, so can we clarify for Scorpio? Healing, healing family issues. What is that about for Scorpio in this connection, please, Spirit? Thank you so much. Wow, too many too many I just want one one for Scorpio wow please thank you so much there we go the fool okay well this I feel like fell on your person that it fell on your person so I'm being told it's their energy so they could be uh, Aquarius um, but yeah, they're ready to take this leap of faith with you. They want to jump right in. They want to move it forward. They want a brand new start with you. And they're absolutely ready to take that leap of faith and start over, start fresh, start new, and take this leap of faith. Wow. So let's see what your energy is. So we have the Hermit. Exactly. Wow. Virgo energy, but it doesn't have to be. So I definitely feel like here, and I had said that you're off on your own trying to heal trying to move on trying to end this chapter trying to find out and uh feel exactly what you truly want moving forward finding your inner light peace happiness joy for the future what do you truly want what path should you go down as you heal and move on from whatever cycle you've been through here you're going through but your person wants to sleep a faith with you all right, so let's see what the actual situation is now. So we have the Page of Pentacles, the Ten of Wands, and the Five of Pentacles. Wow. All right, Earth Energy, 
fire energy and earth energy again. So connecting to you is the page of pentacles. So, and this could be about, um, you know, it's messages. Um, I feel like, again, you're working on yourself since pentacles are about, you know, career, finance, material things. I definitely feel, feel here with the page of pentacles. Maybe you've communicated to them. I just want to concentrate on myself, work on myself right now, get my stability back. Um, you know, I think you see their offer and you know it's a big offer here, but you have it, you're holding on to it, but you're not ready yet to accept it. And connected to them is the Five of Pentacles, exactly with the unrequited love. So exactly, they're feeling, you know, abandoned, left out in the cold, unrequited. Um, they're feeling the lack, they're not feeling the reciprocity in the situation. But they're hoping and wishing for this fool to jump, you know, take a leap of faith with you. But connecting the two of you is the Ten of Wands, this fire energy. So a lot of burdens here. So I feel like, you know, connecting to you, Scorpio, you're definitely working on yourself. Releasing burdens no longer serving you as you complete a cycle and heal and move on. And they feel like <laughs> they have so much feelings towards you it's almost like they just can't take it anymore it's like they're keeping it all inside it's they're ready to like explode you know it's like they just want this start with you and it's just really weighing them down and maybe they're getting depressed maybe they're getting um you know nervous and anxious you know because they feel this unrequited love but wanting to jump right in and take a leap of faith but knowing here they have to wait for you to end your cycle with the 10 so there can be a brand new beginning to reset start over at zero and have a brand new beginning wow Scorpio so let's see what your advice Scorpio is so we have the wheel of fortune Sag energy wow nice and then we have the four of wands wow <laughs> wow Scorpio <laughs> holy crap four of wands this you know some say it's the twin flame card you know and this is about stability so your advice is to keep working on yourself because better luck timing, you know, you will heal, you will move on, you will get your stability back. Fate, destiny, time is on your side. Have patience with yourself. Things will turn in your favor if you just keep working and moving forward. And you could have this loving, committed relationship with this per person who I believe is your soulmate to inflame. Growth, expansion, stability happy home and family with this person coming together it's faded it's destiny wow faded destiny and i had calling in your soulmate there so definitely and here's a confirmation of that twin flame soulmate energy here this is divinely guided 10 ending 10 10 ending things so you can have this with your soulmate twin flame all right so let's see what your outcome may be the chariot so I feel like you know things will move forward cancer energy here so things will move forward there'll be you know balance between the two of you there'll be success and victory ambition drive and passion and just moving forward in this connection in the future you know with the time there with the you know wheel of fortune may take time all in divine timing but it is here with your soulmate of things moving forward in this connection Wow and here also this you know kind of reminds me of the wheel of fortune you know the light is shining down on you and you may not see it on the two of you but these are turning they are turning and eventually it'll all turn into this wow so let's get more clarity now eight of pentacles right so putting in that hard work and dedication putting in the hard work and dedication working on yourself rebuilding yourself getting your stability and your strength back and also working on this connection in divine timing and having that stability growth abundance you know solid foundation four of cups so right now yep you're, you're just concentrating on yourself water energy it's your energy cancer scorpio pisces concentrating on yourself you're kind of ignoring their offer you know it's there because you have it here so it has been offered to you but you're not really accepting it now Again, like I said, you're looking at it, you're holding on to it, you see it, but you're not really accepting it right now because you're still working on yourself. 
and the offer will always be there because it is divinely guided with the wheel of fortune that this is your soulmate twin flame and there will be forward movement in the future and will be very equal and balanced and successful wow feel like you will balance each other out equally here page of cups so again that's the offer here is the offer you know they've i feel like they've already told you how they felt they already communicated that to you and you know and you know how they feel you know what they want to offer but again you're still not accepting it just yet as you work on yourself you might have said i'm sorry i'm just not ready right now kind of energy knight of pentacles again taking that slow steady action working on yourself to gain your stability and strength back taking that action maybe even you know going to school also too or um, work, you know, really working on yourself, your foundation, your finances, your career, your education, possibly even as you came out of the situation that you've come out of, that you're healing from. Because we do have the Page of Pentacles here and the Knight of Pentacles. So it could be any of those things. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. The Nine of Pentacles. Again, wow. A lot of earth energy here. So you could have a lot of earth in your chart. So this is you being independent, being uh, totally self-fulfilled, totally um, transformed, you know, having your stability, you can take care of yourself, you're making your money, you're abundant, you're prosperous, you've transformed, you've had your growth, and now you can stand on your own two feet, and you're very stable, sturdy, and grounded. So, you know, they may be watching you. <laughs> air energy here so they may be keeping tabs on you watching you see what you're up to your social media a uh, little communication here and there maybe between the two of you you know to keep it fresh and honest um, as you cut away the things no longer serving you yeah mentally trapped entrapment here feeling blinded and trapped I think they are so caught up and trapped in their all, all their emotions and how they feel about you not sure where this is going to go how it's going to work out in the end and you feeling trapped also not knowing what to do you know between the two of you not knowing where it's going how it's going to work out will you come together will you not come together will you give it a chance or will you just heal and move on on your own you know a lot of mental blockages here between the two of you but then, you know, here's the wounded warrior. So I feel like, you know, maybe the two of you or you especially has been through a hard struggle and battle and fight here. You know, you've been through the ringer, but you're still willing to, you know, fight on and move on, having that passion and drive to move on in your life. And then there you go. So again, divinely guided lovers, soulmates, twin flames here, Gemini energy. We have fire energy here with the wands. So... Yeah, definitely soulmate, twin flame energy here. Lovers, two people coming together in a loving union. Toxic energy with the Capricorn. So I think it could be a very passionate, passionate connection here. Seven of Wands, defensiveness. So, um, so maybe the situation you're coming out of, you've really had to defend yourself. Maybe it was a very toxic um, situation here that you really, really had to defend yourself against. But now you're taking action out of that energy, doing what's best for you, um, doing, um, being, going in a more peaceful, harmonious place of self-love, self-worth. Yep, tower moment here. So definitely I feel like with the tower, the devil, yeah, very toxic, you know, and then there was an abrupt explosion, breakdown, argument, something was revealed um, and very toxic, toxic energy. But now you're leaving that behind, you're learning your lessons, you're healing, you're moving on, going into a better place. Uh, air energy here, more healing, balanced, calmful place here. Yep, painful ending, yep, going through a painful, painful ending. But again, twin flame card here, success, joy, happiness, victory here with your divinely guided soulmate twin flame. Could it lead to long-term commitment here, the Hierophant? Taurus energy, long-term commitment, manifesting your way out of the situation to a brand new beginning. Again, soulmate energy here with Six of Cups. And 
needing to wait for a while, but going in that direction, you know, divorce could be divorce here with justice. It's keeping you hung up and trapped in, in, uh, in a pause right now in your life. But, yep, divinely guided soulmate, twin flame energy, long-term commitment coming in the future, possibly marriage, success and victory and passion with your true love soulmate. Leaving that toxic energy behind. Yep. What was on top now? Was it the lovers, I think? I don't know. Anyway, yep. So I see as you heal and move on out of the cycle, leaving all that toxic energy behind, and as you come to terms with what you want in the future, and if you accept this person, this could be a very loving, passionate, truthful, open, honest, soulmate to inflame connection here for the long term. Could be a life partner here because it is true love soulmate we had over here and give it a chance wow all in divine timing all right so scorpio you can switch the energies if you feel like this side is you and that is your person then you most definitely can switch the energies all right so Let's get some advice, guidance for you, Scorpio, in this love connection, first half of August. First half of August. Guidance, advice, one card for Scorpio, please. Oh, we got two. So let's see what we have. Put this over here. So we have answers within, exactly, and is with the Virgo energy here, with the Hermit, going within, finding your way, finding your light, all the answers are within you. Listen to your intuition, your higher knowing, your gut, your gut feelings about the situation. And one and nine is ten, so ending cycles and having a new beginning, your soulmate. Okay, sorry, just to put this this way. And then we have grateful. So, you know, be grateful for what you have. If you've had children with what you've been through, you know, you're grateful for that situation because it maybe gave you the children. Um, just being grateful for what you have. And seven and four, which is 11, which is half of the twin flame number. And then two, two people coming together in union. Let's see. And again, we have meditation. So exactly as you are in the hermit mode here. Three, you know, the social number coming together, working together. So meditation brings the answers you seek. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. And we have sleep. <laughs> 32, which is five. So again, I feel like that's going with, um, you know, taking a pause, taking a break. Um, as you think about what you want for the future, moving forward with this person. So I, I do think it's a divinely guided soulmate to inflame energy coming in for you this connection with this person okay Scorpio um, you know we have 32 here five change one four five change five five ten ending one new beginning so we didn't get any aces on the table but uh, I do see divinely guided soulmate twin flame connection here that you have on your mind that they've offered you something and you may have declined or said I'm not ready right now but it is divinely guided and it will be balanced and successful here. Very passionate. Scorpio, so if this resonated for you, please do like, share, comment. Uh, I love to read the comments, subscribe, uh, hit the bell to be notified. I post bi-weekly general and love, so don't miss out on that. And sending you many healing energies. Good luck to you in this situation. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always, always say, as with my channel and with the light here is to always, always shine your light.